In today's video, we're going to be talking about subtract like fractions, okay? To subtract like fractions, you should have the same denominator, meaning the numbers have to be the same in the bottom, which is the denominators. If not, you cannot subtract. In this case, we do have the same numbers, so you can go ahead and subtract. And we don't switch these numbers. These numbers always stay the same. So when you subtract it, you just leave the same number, which is going to be 8. The only thing that changes is going to be your top numbers. Okay, so we do 7 minus 4. It's going to be 3. So that's your answer. 3 over 8. Okay. For the next problem, we're going to go ahead and do 9 over 11 minus 4 over 11. Okay, same thing, the denominators have to be the same. In this case, they're 11, so you go ahead and just put 11 here, it doesn't change. And we subtract 9 minus 4. 9 minus 4 is going to be 5. So your answer is 5 over 11. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video with anybody that you think needs the help. In this example, we have 9 over 10 minus 4 over 10. We have the same denominator, so we can go ahead and subtract. And remember, we don't, we don't move or change the denominator, so it's still going to stay as 10. The only thing that changes is your numerator. So we're going to subtract 9 minus 4 is 5. Since 5 and 10, you can still simplify. Go ahead and simplify. So we're going to simplify for, simplify that, 5 goes on both. So we're going to simplify that, 5. And then 5 goes into 5, goes into 5 one time. And then 5 goes into 10 two times. So your answer is 1 half. Another example that we're going to do is 8 over 9 minus 2 over 9. Okay, Same thing, the denominators are the same. So we can go ahead and subtract. But the denominator still always stays the same. So we're just going to put 9 for our denominator. And then we do 8 minus 2 is 6. So we have 6 over 9. But we can go ahead and simplify. So we're going to go ahead and simplify that by 3. So we can go ahead and simplify that. 3 goes into 6 two times. And then 3 goes into 9 three times. So our answer is 2 thirds. In this example, we have 40 over 50 minus 30 over 50 okay if you want to go ahead pause the video right now try to solve the problem and see if you get it right then you put play and see if you got the same answer as i did if not you can go ahead and check and see where you did your mistakes okay so let's start 50 we have as the denominator is the same so we can go ahead and subtract so we're going to go ahead and subtract but we leave 50 still the same and then we subtract our numerator which is 40 minus 30 it's going to be 10 and right there we can still simplify that so go ahead and simplify and we're going to simplify by 10 so we simplify by 10 10 goes into 10 one time and then it goes 10 goes into 50 five times Okay. So your answer is 1 over 5. 